A uh, tough game. That's a tough matchup for us. Um, we had a lot of good shots. We just didn't hit some a lot of the shots, but we continue to play defense. I was proud of that. Uh, for the most part, we rebound. I thought Kari, second half, we'd start going inside to her and Esmeri, which we were trying to do at first half. We just didn't do it. I thought uh, Madison played well. Uh, KK, you know, even though she didn't shoot well, she had five assists, zero turnovers. I mean, we only had seven turnovers for the game. That was big. Um, I thought we had an op a lot of opportunities on the break we didn't take advantage of. And then, uh, you know, I think, you know, they score a lot of points. I thought we did a good job overall. We, we missed some uh, flare picks that we didn't call out, and they got some wide open looks. For, but overall, uh, you know, this was a good win for us. Thank you, Coach. Questions for Coach Carey. Go ahead, Joe Bricado. Mike, they obviously take a lot of threes, but I mean, they they took almost three quarters of their shots from beyond three point range tonight. What were you guys able to do to take away the driving lanes and take away penetration options? Well, we did a good job sitting down on them, and then they were just pulling up the ball looking to kick. Uh, and then I thought Kari, to me, Kari was the MVP. She did a great job on, on, on Jones. Ashley did a great job. And then I thought, you know, when she started backing us down, we went and doubled her and made it tough on her. So even though she scored, I mean, she had 17 points, but I thought Kari did a tremendous job on her. John Antonic. In your opinion, what do you think your team's doing best right now over this eight game winning streak? Uh, they, I, I think it's their attitude. Uh, they think they're going to win. I mean, they, I mean, we're not hitting shots, not hitting shots, and, and I got to quiet down because they just, you know, they're, they're saying we're going to hit them, hit them, keep playing defense. So, you know, that this team has bought in defensively, and, and that was great to hear. I just let them talk here for a couple minutes. Heck, the, the breaks are so long anyway, I, I don't have enough to say. So I just let them talk to each other about defense. So they did that, and, you know, I thought Kaiser hit some big shots for us. She hit some big shots. And, and then Madison, like I said, uh, hit some big shots for us when we were struggling. You know, uh, you can count on 21 a game from Kaiser right now. And, and over this, this eight-game streak, she's averaging 24. Um, that's, that's a pretty good comforting feeling, knowing, knowing having that, right, uh, to have a player like that that can score consistently? Absolutely. Most of her shots are good shots, too. It's not like she's taking a bunch of bad shots. She's taking good shots. Uh, our players seem a little tired tonight. Uh, I don't know what, but – you know, we got to come back and practice tomorrow and, and Friday and leave for Texas. So we got another big game on Saturday. Last thing here for me. Um, are you a little surprised of her ability to take, put the ball on the uh, floor and get to the rim? She's always been a good shooter. Is yeah. that a part of her game? Yeah, she's, she's always been a good ball handler, too. She's always handled the ball well. Now that she's in better shape, now she can get downhill a lot quicker. And, and and that's really helped her getting downhill. But she always could get downhill, but it wasn't as quick as it is right now. And, and it surprises a lot of people. She, she refuses picks as well as anybody I've seen. Go ahead, Joe. Mike Madison's struggled shooting the ball the last couple of games. How important was it for her to hit a couple early and to, and to give you 15? Yeah, absolutely. It was big because we were struggling the score. And she hit some big shots. And, and uh, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, she's in the gym all the time working on her uh, shooting. I mean, nobody hated it more than her when she had two bad games of shooting. And I, but she was still playing well, still playing defense, still getting assists, still sit, getting us in our offenses and defenses. So, you know, but it was, I'm glad. It'll give her a lot more confidence right now. And John? How much did you stress this game to your girls? Because this one kind of separates you a little bit in the standings, now you're you got second all by yourself and Baylor in front of you. Yeah, you know we've got a lot of games left. Uh, I think we've got what eight, six. Well, no, yeah, two with the eight. eight, eight, eight league games. So you know we just got to take them one at a time. Uh, this sets us up good, but you know you're only as good as your last game. We come out Saturday, don't play well, get beaten, and then you know it, it, we have to start all over. But this team, I like this team. I told you from the beginning, I like this team. Uh, we're, I mean, we only played seven people today. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll continue and, and uh, play. We got a little bit of foul trouble. And, uh, you know, give them a lot of credit, our team a lot of credit. 
Any final questions for coach tonight? All right. Thank you. Thank you, hey, coach. Let me just say, let me just say this. It was great having a crowd. Man, it was great having a crowd tonight. Hopefully the next game we can have more people in here, but it was great having a crowd. And I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.